Okay guys, welcome to my next setup on Project Cars. Now that patch 7.0 is out and the camera changes have took effect, I thought I'd get on Monza and get a new R8 setup and test these tyres. The tyres are now in very con good condition, you don't need to worry about tyre temps anywhere near as much as with the 6.0 update. But this, you still need to take consideration. So I'm going to go through a track guide now as well with every setup I do. So we're going down the start straight, we're going flat out in 6th gear, maximum gearing obviously for Monza with the R8 and we're going to break just before the 150 we're going to go down into 3rd gear really fast but then hold on to 2nd for a bit and then down into 1st just as we approach the kerb skimming the kerb, watch the back end, don't be too aggressive and then on the kerb again, holding the power and then flat down on the power into 2nd gear early stops the wheel spin a bit and then we're going to go flat out through turn 3 it's not really a turn, it's just a it's basically a straight because these car, no, no car seems to worry of these, this bend and then we're coming into the chicane <clears throat> we're going to break just before the bridge. I'm going to go down into second gear, and we're really going to go down through the gears quite fast here, holding on to second a bit longer as usual. We don't want to blow the engine, and then we're going to skim the curb on the left, hold the power bit. We want to get a good exit, and then hard on the power. We're running a little bit wide. We want to just use as much of the track as we can, and then we're coming into the two Lesmos. We're going to break nice and early here into third gear, and we're going to try and hold a nice tight line. You, really, you don't want to run wide, as soon as you get the car wide it's just going to keep on running wide into that gravel and then we can get on the, get the power really early now and we're into 4th gear and then we're going to go accelerate hard and then we're back down into 3rd gear briefly we're going to lift off, hold the throttle, just lift it off a bit and then power down then into 4th early to stop the wheel spin there we're just going to go into 4th gear there and then we're flat out again all the way down this straight now and we're going to come into the next chicane and we're going to just break just before again the bridge it's just the perfect break marker just before not, not too early though and we're going to go down into fourth gear fast and then into third gear and we're not going to take too much speed through the first part we're just going to hold it take a little bit of curb there not too much again you don't want to unsettle the car too much and do not take the curb on the right if you get your car on the right hand side there you're going to spin it so we're in fourth gear now and we're going to accelerate now hard coming out of the bend to get maximum exit speed again exit is key always think of your exit there's no point going through the bend at stupid speed and then getting a rubbish exit because you've got this long straight now to cope with. So then we're going to come into the next breaking point where we're going to break just before the 100, 100 marker there. And we're going to go down into 4th then into 3rd gear. We're going to take a nice tight line again. Wait for the back end to kick a bit there and then we power it into 3rd gear. Then we're going flat through the gears all the way now to the finishing line. And the finishing line when we eventually get there is a 1 minute 43.6 I think it was. I hope you, I hope this has helped some of you out, and then we're going to go through the setup changes that I made now with the patch that's took effect. Okay, so we're going to let this setup the, the setup load up now. I'm going to back out of this, and we're going to go straight into the setup now. And obviously, there's still some changes that aren't perfect, but as an overall setup, it's, it feels pretty consistent. I would like to try and get the the rear end a little bit more stable, but I'm going to go through this now and show you exactly what might need changing, things that might help etc and basically just go through it quickly with you now so on the front left tyre obviously the tyres all the tyres are back down to a more normal pre 6.0 update so all the old setups should work much better now but maybe you may need to just up some of the pressures a little bit not too much just slightly because the temperatures still do up a bit obviously with um, if you're really driving aggressive but overall they're, they're maintainable now so we're going to go through the setup and as you see the tyres are all the same brake balance brake pressure 100% ABS on lower obviously you go down brake duct obviously is 5% longer race you're going to up it to 15-20% to 20%. depends on the race distance for qualifying 5% or less <coughs> obviously the, this is irrelevant and brake mapping all the way down on the left there we didn't need to have anything on that it may be if the back's becoming a bit unstable move it up one that's all Gearing maximum again there, and limited slip. We've gone down a little bit there to 10%. You'll see there. I'm trying to get the back end a little bit more stable, so I've had to lower that. I mean, I might even maybe go down another percent there. And limited slip again, 60. A lot of this is pretty similar. Radiator again, 5% or lower for qualifying. Anything above like five laps, etc., you're gonna have to go above 20%, or you're gonna blow your engine pretty easy, or overheat the engine. What whatever happens. And now we're going to go on to the next part of the setups now. This is very similar, all this now, from the old setup. Obviously, with the Audi, the suspension changes, you can't do as much as um, with like the Z4, etc. But 
We've gone a little bit more aggressive again. We, I think maybe I might drop down the rear suspension and make it a little bit softer to get a little bit more grip coming out of the bends. I found the back end a little bit loose every now and then, but this is things that you can just work on yourself. Just soften the rear up maybe slightly might help the setup a bit, but I'll have a good proper go at it another time. And then again, all, all the ride height is all pretty aggressive. Everything seems to be a bit more pre 6.0 update. So hopefully now we can get racing and get a lot more setups back on, on, on my channel. Again, now you can see a little bit change on the rear camber. I, I upped it to 0.4 and 0.2. I think maybe I might up the right rear to 0.3 and then go to 0.5 to try and stabilize the rear a bit more. Everything else is back to normal. Obviously the force feedback settings, I don't touch them. I leave them as project cars, give us them. I find them fine. They don't cause me an issue at all. And so what I'll do now, I'll leave you with a um, replay of the run I did. And hopefully now that 7.0 update is out, there's not going to be any further changes to the tyres as far as I know. And then um, cambers, they should stay, I'm, I'm guessing they'll stay pretty close to what they are now. So we can really get on with getting as many of these GT3 setups done as we can. And remember a lot of the pre, the like 5.0 setups from like a while ago should work now. Just maybe raise the pressures a very small amount lower the acceleration diff a little bit just to calm the rear down not too much just just bring it all on a bit bit more of a a less aggressive approach not not too drastic just knock a few things down and you should find that a lot of them setups will work fine now so if you'd like to leave a like and subscribe to my channel i'll be really grateful thanks guys and i'll be back on giving you another video very shortly